Hey, thanks for joining. My name's Casey and this is Mindseed TV. Today you're going to see some of the most horrifying footage that has been trending on social medias. If you're not already subscribed, tap that little button down below and stick around for more scary videos just like this one. In this first video, police uncover a horrifying crime that took place against 23-year-old Chloe Jones. The nightmare unfolded when a concerned woman called the police about a neighbor's suspicious activities. I don't know what's wrong with this girl. Oh, there's a girl in there with him? Yes. She claimed her husband saw a girl in the neighbor's house that looked badly beaten, and something was definitely wrong. My husband said he didn't really get a look at her. He's yelling at her. Her face is, she can't see out of her eyes. Okay. You can tell she was nervous about speaking to the police, but something needed to be done. This is why I'm nervous. This is why I've been calling his own building and I don't even know if that's even You know 100%. You know he's in there for a fact. I know for a fact. The police make way to the neighbor's house and immediately tell the man to keep his hands up and turn around. Keep your hands up. Hey, what cuff? Just keep coming. After arresting the man, they enter the home and find a very disturbing sight. Chloe had been kidnapped and held against her will for four days in this man's attic. Her eyes were badly swollen and she was in need of immediate medical assistance. But luckily, the neighbor's police report paid off while there was still time. Who knows what might have happened had they not looked into this issue when they did. This is by far one of the most horrifying videos caught on body cameras that I have seen all year. This next video is literally footage of my worst nightmare coming true. As a man descends down the rocky ridges of Mount Futago in Japan, he soon realizes he is not alone. Instead, he was being stalked by a bloodthirsty bear. The bear lunges at him trying to grab a hold of his arm, but luckily he shakes the bear off of him. As the bear hits the bottom of the cliff, it appears to be unfazed. It still decides to come back for more. <laughs> Fighting for his life, he hits the bear repeatedly in the head and continues screaming at the top of his lungs. <laughs> The bear paces back and forth, whining and whimpering down below. And judging by the condition of its skin, it more than likely is sick. <laughs> the startled man finally gets the bear to leave, but continues looking down the ridge while trying to get to safety. At this point, I think it's safe to say, I would need to change my underwear. What would you do if you were in this man's situation? Do you think you would have responded the same way or would you have done something different? Let me know down below in the comments. In this next video uploaded by Urbex Hill, this YouTuber explores an abandoned school all on his own. Wow, the decay is crazy in here. He quickly realizes how dilapidated and worn down this building has become. As he cautiously creeps down the old school hallways, he's startled by a sound coming from within the building. While abandoned buildings and old structures typically have rodents living inside, falling pipes and pieces of the ceiling are known to be a common thing. But what is not common is what this man was about to experience. Ah! 
he hears a strange noise coming from behind a yellow tarp hanging in the doorway. And as he moves it aside to look, what happens next is bone chilling. A man lets out a blood curdling scream from within the room, sending this YouTuber quickly running towards the exit. While squatters may be a common thing in abandoned buildings, no one is expecting to hear this coming from the shadows in a dark room. After getting himself to safety, upon returning home and reviewing the footage, he found that he actually captured someone creeping around in the shadows during his initial walkthrough. Creepy, right? It makes you wonder who might be watching you through your windows at night as you watch YouTube videos like these. This next video is guaranteed to give you nightmares. After a girl named Camilla in Poland used a Ouija board with her friends, her mother noticed extremely odd behavior in the girl. In fact, things got so out of control one night that the family called police to come and help them. Camilla barricaded herself in the outside barn and could be heard making demonic and possessed growling noises while the police try to communicate with her. At one point, one of the officers sets his flashlight to strobe mode, and Camilla doesn't like that at all. You can see her head as she peeks out of the upper window, and then she oddly ducks and crawls back away further into the rafters. Eventually, the police take another approach. They try to talk to her from the front entrance. From the way the police are looking at the door and trying to see up and behind it, it would appear that she's still up in the rafters. She continues to growl and scream while throwing things at the officers. <laughs> Seeing three police officers this afraid to enter a building makes me believe that this footage is real. No one would know how to handle a situation like that. <laughs> They even have an animal control device with a loop to wrap around her neck and drag her out. Some people say maybe the girl was mentally ill. But you can be the judge of that and listen to these haunting growls and screams for yourself. This next clip reveals horrifying body cam footage of a shocking discovery made by Kentucky police officers. It all began when police received a call from a concerned neighbor. Once police arrived to the location, they are greeted by all of the people in the neighborhood standing outside of the home. 
As police approach the house, they quickly realize that the entire first floor of the home has been boarded and barricaded shut. As they search for an entrance, they ask the community if anyone has a ladder. We see a ladder. I got a ladder. A ladder. Upon climbing the ladder, what they were about to uncover could be described as nothing less than sinister. Is it my else in there? He did what? A woman is being held captive in this home by a metal collar and chain bound around her neck. The other end of the chain was deadlocked and bolted to the floor. The woman is in a fearful state and begs and pleads with officers to get her out. The officers find an axe and begin to try and break free the chain. Once the chain is off, they call in medical support and have a team remove the metal collar with a pair of bolt cutters. It turns out that the man holding her captive was an ex-boyfriend that asked her to come over and clean, but little did she know she wouldn't be leaving. He held her for days against her will. Once again, it's a good thing that concerned neighbors took action or who knows what might have ended up happening to her. Thanks to the Kentucky police officers, she made it out alive. But nonetheless, the whole thing was caught on tape by their body cams. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, please hit that like button down below. It's a free way to show support and it helps us out big time. Also, if you would like to support the channel even further while getting all sorts of cool bonus perks and benefits like live streams with Colton and I, come on over and join us on our Patreon page. We have such an awesome community there already which is still growing day by day and we've recently revamped our page to make it even better for you guys. You'll find a link down below in the description of this video and there's a bunch of different tier levels that you could choose from depending on your comfort level and how much you're willing to donate. And if you want to stay right here on YouTube and continue watching these videos for free that will blow your mind, check out this video right here. It's a pretty creepy one and I think that you're going to like it. Or if you want to binge watch a bunch of really cool creepy videos that we've uploaded, there's a playlist right here and that's all of our scary content. I really think that you're going to like that. So thanks for joining me and I will catch you next time.